It is quarter of three on Monday. And here we go, Fox News. He was the voice behind a program called The Grandy Group, featuring a domestic terrorism segment where his wife, Catherine, would come on and comment. Doesn't look very happy there. This is Fred. That was at least until last week. Fred Grandy quit after he claims the station demanded that he no longer have his wife on and demanded that he tone it down on the Islam stuff. So Grandy told to curb his rhetoric and told to ban his own wife. Every single speech he gave, even the the uh, the most recent um, address that he gave, the State of the Union address, there's yeah. always a tip of the hat to the Muslims. Why is that? Why isn't there a tip of the hat to the Christians, the Jews? It's always the Muslims. In Cairo, the understanding is that that speech where he basically um, underscored Sharia finance here, yeah, here, Sharia finance. said, oh, I hope the Muslims in the United States get for Sharia finance so they can pay their zakat. At the Cairo speech, why did he have to say that? And why was the Muslim Brotherhood in the audience? Okay. The best song he's ever yeah. heard. The nicest music he's ever heard is that call to prayer All in the right. morning. Okay. Yeah, no. You're going to be hearing it soon. Amazing. It's going to be here in Bethesda. So, did the station do the right thing? Let's ask our panel. Fox News legal analyst Arthur Idala and defense attorney Mark Iglarsh. All right, gentlemen, so what happened was they, according to Fred Grandy, called him in there, called him to tone way down the rhetoric on radical Islam. There you saw Mrs. Fred talking about President Obama and her views on him, uh, and to basically fire his wife. And Fred Granty said, you know what? I'm firing you. I'm walking out. I'm not going to live up to your terms and present the broadcast. That Why not use her real name? Why keep calling her Mrs. Fred? What is it, Catherine Mann? Is that her name? I mean, give her her name, huh? God! At least what would need to be clear is that they didn't fire him, okay? He stepped down... I mean, he took the high road. He felt he didn't have a choice, telling him, number one, if his wife couldn't be on him, probably more importantly, they're censoring him to some degree. Right. And, you know, he, he took the high road. He couldn't stay on. they do that? They sent you in AL. They fired Michael Graham, uh, who's, uh, you know, another uh, radio talk show host who made comments about radical Islam. They fired him. Well, After CARE complained about him, they put him on suspension for, I think, 28 days, and then they fired him. Well, and and do they have the right? You know, could they have been setting a precedent there? Might they have been going down the same path here? Look, I don't think what he said rises to the level of, of hurtful or harmful speech that Doesn't gives him the right to do so. He has a First Amendment right to say what his opinion is. They hired him to do that. They know what his opinion is before they hire him. So my point is, you know, they didn't fire him. They just asked him to tone it down. So, it, so it's, it's, I can't Apparently, according to WMAL, they didn't even ask him to tone it down. They asked him to please not keep his wife on so much, you know? I don't know. It's not like... I guess he says they told him to tone it down. vanilla person who had never made comments like this before went on and started saying things like this. Fred and Mrs. Fred have been making points like this. How about using a real name? Does he have a point? Does he have an argument? Why do they always hide behind it, that identity? Give us her real name. Termination. He'd be to the clip to try to preserve a reputation for himself. Legally, he doesn't have a leg to stand on. It doesn't matter whether the station is firing him because of his Islam remarks. The station didn't fire him. Scarf. He quit. They're That's right. according to WMAL. But they have the right to control the content of their broadcast. If he doesn't like it, as he did, it's time to jump ship. You don't love the boat you're on. And go for another but job. But is that right? Well, nice. Nicely done with the lump up. It, but is that necessarily the case, uh, Arthur? Because wasn't there a thing, I mean, I remember in the Imus controversy, there was a provision in his contract that, that acknowledged that he is prone to making incendiary comments and that they wanted that. That's why they hired him. I wasn't sure if we were allowed to go there since Imus is part of the Fox family. Well, but I'm that's just, exactly it's, it's what a historical was, case. Our there. viewers are not unfamiliar with right. that. No, no, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Look, there's a difference between what I was did and like in the days of Howard Stern on terrestrial radio when he was violating FCC policy by using words or having bits that were clearly forbidden by the regulations of the federal government. Here, there's nothing like that. He's it's an opinion talk show. That's what he does. It's what we do on Fox so here. Arthur, all so if that provision exists, Arthur, if Arthur, that provision exists and we haven't seen the contract, but if there's something in there acknowledging that he's there to sort of push the envelope Maybe WAMAL could be in trouble, Mark. No? WAMAL? Well, it doesn't exist. It's almost sound like she said WAMU. 
<laughs> Maybe that's what she really listens to. We don't know what his contract is. They, they, would, they, would, they wouldn't have let him go. The bottom line is... They didn't let him. He quit. That we're You're right. You got it right. The comments that he made regarding Islam. How about slumping ratings? Hey, well, ding, is. ding, 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 ding. You're right. You're right. <laughs> slumping ratings. 22nd place. The 25 to 50 fours. <laughs> as much as you know, it hurts me to do this. You are correct. If his, his oh, ratings, his ratings bravo. were so, his rating Good was so low. That's the reason why they asked them to change course. That then, then the radio stations on better footing. But if he's ding, 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 and they didn't like what his wife said, and they didn't like that he agreed with them, and they called yeah. him to the carpet and said, "We don't want you to give your real opinion. We want you to make it vanilla. We want you to tone right. it down. We don't want you and to speak your mind." Him. When we hired right, you to speak right, their but, mind, but answer that, Mark. What, did, did, did he have some obligation? Because like, they, they could go after him, potentially, I guess, for breach of contract. Amen. Bing, 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 bing. So, but, but does he have a defense? <laughs> I, you can't force me to go out there and do what I perceive to be a disingenuous program. Uh, the answer would be yes. He can make that argument. If somehow they curtailed his ability to effectively do his job, he'll be able to make that argument. It's not going to happen. It's not necessary. They probably wanted him out because of slumping ratings and maybe because they didn't like what he was saying. And you know what? That's their right. That's their First Amendment Look, right. I'm gonna ding, 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 ding. I like him. He's a smart guy. Not in evidence. I didn't hear anything Brilliant. about slumping ratings. I heard he was yeah, called to the carpet. His wife point. is, he, they say, your wife's out. And you don't say what you really feel. We want you to tone things down. It was reported that oh, he was, was he was ratings. trailing Limbaugh and Hannity, but who is it? I mean, uh, those guys are no. the gods of talk radio. Right. I mean, that's the truth. WML uh, says giant, it did not terminate his employment, and it never had any intention to do so. They say it was all his doing. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, One final word for our viewers. The station can't force Grandy to present a program he finds disingenuous. He can't force them to allow him or his wife to make provocative comments on the air. Both sides have considerable freedom here, as do the listeners, to tune in or not, based on what happened here. We'll be right. There comes the judge, and she proclaimed it. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of truth there on Fox News. That's our breaking news. We now return you to the newlywed game on most of these stations.